Fintech Moldova Conference 2023 este la, la 5 ediție. Avem un număr record de persoane. Anul acesta avem peste 360 de persoane înregistrate. Avem o comunitate largă de participanți internaționali. Avem oaspeți renumiți în sectorul Fintech din Marea Britanie, din Irlanda, din Israel. Și vedem un progres dreptat și gradual de pe an ce trece față de interesul față de tehnologiile informaționale și de comunitatea Fintech din țară. During the last one and a half years, Moldova did a significant jump in adopting of digital payments in the market. By introducing Apple Pay, Google Pay, Moldova transformed the way of payments from using of contactless cards to using of digital payments with adoption of almost 30% of such payments uh, in physical merchants. Well, of course, uh, the regional uh, challenge is, uh, is something that uh, is real and Moldova is facing it uh, quite adequately, but I would also focus on opportunities. I mean, this regional challenge is uh, revealed for Moldova opportunity to integrate with the European Union. And this is once in a century opportunity uh, for Moldova or the countries like Mo Moldova. And uh, we are progressing towards it uh, very well and I'm very pleased There's incredible potential in the banking sector and the financial technology sector in Moldova. Potential to open up those sectors to increase private sector investment and also to make sure that consumers are educated and protected as they take part in the digital transformation of Moldova. Well, obviously, government is incredibly influential, um, but equally, so is the financial system itself in that um, I live in Poland and Poland's growing very quickly from the 25th to the fourth largest economy of Europe um, and a lot of that is down to government policy in the financial and educational system um, but I think more than that is the cost of talent and the cost of um, running a business in a country. Fintech-ul cred că a apărut datorită lipsei de inovație în industria financiară din partea jucătorilor tradițional cum ar fi băncile. În momentul în care consumatorii au, de, au nevoie noi în administrarea banilor, de exemplu, sau în domeniul plăților, da? de, -și, de a putea achita servicii sau cumpăra produse să fie mai ușor, mai accesibil, mai ieftin, în momentul în care băncile tradiționale nu au putut oferi asta, a apărut fintech-ul. Этот сегмент очень важен и конференция очень важна, потому что Молдова идет, собственно, по пути и Европы и использует те стандарты, которые сейчас есть уже в Европе. И Европа прошла, это, скажем так, первый путь, именно тестовый путь, именно на пути к становлению и развитию финтеха и открытию финансовых услуг непосредственно для всех сегментов бизнеса. Fintech Moldova was, you know, was new to me, but more and more in learning about it, you definitely have the huge opportunity to follow the previous, the previous journeys and not make those mistakes to accelerate. The government will play a huge part in that, of course, making sure the regulation is placed. The second is talent. Um, you cannot go to university to be a fintecher. It's a mindset. But you do need the tools. You do need to be able to understand the concepts. But it's about incubation. It's about uh, making sure that you get as many Chris Skinners as you had today, for example, who's just amazing. Getting people like that to actually share their experience. Okay, so it's a journey. 